you take one each quantity of noodle. You cut with knife. You put rest between the legs. You put on corner. So when you get into your bins, you don't whack your head. And that's how you do that. They're 99 cents if you can buy them at the 99 cent store. Sam. I'm Margie. We're from Truckee, California. And how long have you been full-time RVing? Three years now. We couldn't own a home and RV, so we had to decide one or the other. Sold our house, and in desperation, looked for an RV. Never have done this before. Winging a prayer. He's never had, he had a truck, but we're not into the big fancy trucks. And by the time you do it, it's 100,000 either way. Yeah. By the time you buy the RV and the car, it's 130,000. And by the time you buy the big truck and the new fifth wheel, it's 130,000. It's so it's six, it's what you want. Well, what did you do your first year full timing? Traveled. Started in. Truckee went to Reno and then we needed we bought a car we traded our car in bought the new car and we had to wait for the tow package then we went to Fort Bildwell which is in Northern California came back here got the tow package on and left and went to the Grand Canyon yeah Vegas the Grand Canyon. Vegas first Vegas Grand Canyon. Canyon drove all the way to Texas where we became residents of Texas because it's cheaper. California sucks. <laughs> but we'd stay a week, we'd stay a couple days, we'd stay a month somewhere. And just went down through all the through the south. Went all the way down to Key West, went down the Gulf side, came up the Atlantic side. Yeah. Went to Savannah, Georgia. You haven't been, go. <laughs> cool town. And how did you even hear about work camping? Did you already know about that or? No. We saw people in the state parks that were cleaning bathrooms, and then we were asking them about it because they were older. And they said, they told us, yeah, we work camp, we get to stay here for free, and we just work a few hours. You get the park people and meet people from all over the United States and all over the world, and it's fun. And the cones, cones, the cones. are nice. Cones are nice if you wear hats and you have your head down. So when you walk around your RV, you remember that you have a pop out so you don't whack yourself in the middle of the face when you walk into the side. I mean, it's if you're outgoing, this is this is a lifestyle that is fun. Yeah. There's a lot to do and a lot to see. There are people that travel together. There's a lot of people that caravan together or they meet a certain time every year for two months and then they split and go their ways, but they hang out every year. Yeah. And we're looking forward to get back to Yuma and see all the people we met last year. It'll be fun to be a second year in some place. There are people there that have been nine, 10 years in Yuma. Yeah, they go back to the same place every year. Every year, every because year. it's that same much place. fun. Yeah. They have friends and they don't see each other for six months and they all come back and they all have fun. Yeah. They all have new stories. What is the best part about full timing? I'm sure there's a lot of good parts. What are the best parts? The travel. The freedom. People you can want see tip it. number three? What is tip number three? Buy a 10 foot piece of gutter. Cut it in half. Now you can adjust it to any length for your sewer and you won't get the wiggle waggle when it goes everywhere. Keeps it nice and straight, a couple wire ties. Keep it in place. You cut them when you're done, throw them away. Then you keep the gutter. It's perfect. It slides out and in. Put it on top of your
cradle. Advice Outdoors. for others seeking the lifestyle. What advice would you give? Do it. It's a fool's paradise at time, but do it. It is fun. 